go ahead and work some examples of long so division. So let's go ahead and divide some, use some long division with decimals. Say we have 34.5 divided by 15. I'm going to first rewrite it, and I'm going to put the dividend on the inside and the divisor on the outside. Okay. Now, in this particular one, since the outside, since the divisor does not have a decimal, you can just go ahead and divide. And just be mindful to keep the decimal point, decimal mark right there. You can just move it up. So, 34 divided by 15. Remember, we're going to use dad, mom, sister, brother. Okay? So, we're going to divide first. 30 divided by 15 is goes two times. 2 times 15 is 30. Oops, what am I doing there? Okay. Now, the reason why you did not divide 15 into 3 because 3 is less than 15. So, now we multiply. 2 times 15 is 30. Next, we subtract 34 minus 30 is 4. And finally, we bring down. So now we bring down the 5. Next, make sure the decimal goes there. Next, 45 divided by 15, we're going to divide, is 3. 3 times 15 is 45. Subtract 45 minus 45 is 0. Next, we bring down zero, and so I'm just going to place a zero right there. So the answer would be 2.30. 34.50 divided by 15 is 2.30. Okay, let's work another example with dividing with decimals, and let's go um, um, 145.6 divided by 2.6. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that. So I go 145.6 divided by 2.6. Now that we have a decimal on the outside or with the divisor, uh, we need to get rid of the decimal. And we can do that by just moving it one place to the right. But what we do to the divisor, we need to do to the dividend. So we'll move it one place to the right also. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it. So 145.6 divided by 2.6 will become 145, 1,456 divided by 26. Now we just divide again. We're going to go dad, mom, sister, brother. Okay. Um, can't divide into 1. Cannot divide into 14 because they're less than 26. 145 divided by 26, I believe we'll go 5 times, I then multiply, 5 times 26 is 130, next I subtract 145 minus 130 is 15, okay, next I bring down, so I have 156, and 156 divided by 26 is 6. Next, so I've divided. Next, I multiply. 6 times 26 is 156. I next subtract. When I subtract, that is 0. And so the answer is 56. So 56, and that's written kind of messy. Let me rewrite that over here. The answer is 56. Okay? Finally, let's work one more. If you have a really big number, hopefully you're beginning to get it by. Okay, let's go ahead and work one more. We've got 3,805.84 divided by 45.2. Okay, since we have a... Um, we have a decimal on the outside or in the divisor. We need to rewrite this and move it one place to the right. And remember what we do to the divisor, we need to do to the dividend. So we'll move it one place to the right. I'm going to rewrite it so that it is not messy. So it becomes 
38,058.4 divided by 452. We now just follow dad, mom, sister, brother. And first we divide. Can't divide it into 3, can't divide into 38, can't divide into 380, but 3,805. And if you multiply, I believe that will go 8 times. We next multiply 8 times 452 is 3616. Next, we subtract. 5 minus 6 is 9. Bring over the 1, that becomes 8. Uh, we had to borrow one more, so that becomes 189. We now bring down, and so we have 1,898. Again, we divide 1,898 by 452, multiply it by 4, 4 times 452, that becomes 1,808. We now subtract 0, um, 9, bring down, so that becomes 4, but be careful with the decimal. Okay, 904 divided by 452 goes 2 times, and if you multiply 2 times 452, that becomes 904, and we have a 0 with no remainings. Okay, uh oh, we almost ran off the page there, it's a little crooked. Anyway, hopefully that helps with dividing long division with decimals. Mumu Math uploads a new math video, science or motivation video every day. Thanks for watching.